Hello, we're here with Sarah Reinebelt, who's speaking on behalf of Best Start, Best Start for Kids, which is a levy renewal on the ballot. Go ahead, Sarah, with five minutes. Thank you, Nicole. Good to see you, Thundering 36 Executive Board. My name is Sarah Reineveld, and I am here um, as an Executive Board member. I am also a member of the uh, King County Women's Advisory Board and a former member of the Children and Families Strategies Task Force. And I'm here to speak on behalf of the Best Starts for Kids Levy Renewal. So a little background, King County Executive Dow Constantine developed and implemented Best Starts for Kids in 2015. And since that time, King County has really made undeniable progress in ensuring we are investing in kids to ensure that every kid has a better opportunity to thrive in King County. I support the Best Starts for Kids levy renewal because as a parent and an education champion, uh, we know that investing in prevention and early intervention is the most effective and least expensive way to ensure positive outcomes for our kids in King County. The levy renewal also makes some very exciting and impactful investments in childcare access and affordability, many of which I've advocated for, um, and supports for childcare providers who have been really profoundly impacted by the pandemic, and as we know, are overwhelmingly BIPOC and immigrant women. So just for some background, that starts for kids as a King County levy that was originally passed in November of 2015, and it focuses on five strategies that prioritize promoting positive outcomes for kids, reducing negative outcomes, intervening early uh, with kids and families when we know it counts most, and building on community strengths. And since the time um, that the levy passed, it has reached almost 490,000 of King County's youngest children and their families and provided supports for 40,000 youth and young adults. It cost um, the average King County property owner about $1 per week. I wanna talk a little bit about those strategies. So King, uh, this, this levy specifically, Investors for Kids, um, is really innovative and kind of on the cutting edge in that it really invests early in a prenatal to age five. So it invests early to support pregnant women and their families, infants, very young children, and child, child caregivers during the first really critical five years of life. Um, and just by way of example, it's provided nearly 6.5 million essential items to nearly 90,000 kids. That includes car seats, diapers, and food. And then the levy also sustains the gain by investing in ages 5 through 24. So that means investments in really a foundation for lifelong learning and well-being uh, and supports through community leadership opportunities, youth development and mentorship, school-based services, supports outside of school time, and tailored education supports. The other thing that Best Starts Levy has done really effectively is helped to prevent youth homelessness uh, by assisting young people and families with children that are at risk of imminent harm of becoming homeless to remain housed through a really innovative approach that includes providing flexible funds and intensive case management um, and includes help with securing long-term stable housing. And to date, Besters for Kids has served 10,200 youth and families at risk of losing their homes. And 96% of those um, completing the program have remained housed one year. So those are really great outcomes. Um, so just a little bit about the renewal. It's going to be on the primary ballot on August 3rd. It'll be an increase uh, from a 14% tax to 19% tax for $1,000 of assessed value. Um, and, you know, by renewing Best First for Kids, we're not only maintaining investments in these real, really critical programs that support kids as they grow, but we're also making additional investments in out of school time programs and transitions uh, to adulthood for teens, for specifically 14 through 24, um, and, and up to four school based health centers across the county. Um, finally, and why I'm so excited about this, it also creates a new child care assistance subsidy 
subsidy program to make childcare more affordable for more than 3,000 low-income families. This was a recommendation um, that I recommended as chair of the King County Women's Advisory Board. Our board recommended it. Also, the Children and Family Strategy Task Force recommended it. We have a subsidy program in Seattle. We do not have one in King County. Um, and this is really critical, particularly now when we've seen um, King County has seen a decrease in providers um, that's really affected particularly low income and working families and their ability to return to the workforce. Finally, it establishes a new child care wage project to increase the ability of child care providers to earn a living wage in King County as they really care for the region's uh, children, which is so critically important. So that we know, we know that prevention and early education and engagement is most effective and the least expensive way to ensure positive outcomes for all of our kids and communities. I'm here to ask the 36th district to please support the Best Starts for Kids levy renewal and ensure Sure that all of our kids, including those that are overcoming racial and economic injustice, have a, an opportunity to thrive in King County. So thank you, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Great. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, are there any questions about this particular levy? The only one that I had was um, just about the child care wage subsidy. Um, what is that? What does that look like? Do, do you happen to recall? Yeah, um, I asked the campaign for some additional details because kind of at um, the different spaces in which this was being flushed out negotiated. I don't know what they specifically landed on, but I think it's like a maybe a three plus dollar subsidy per hour. So essentially there would be a pilot program where a group of providers would be making um, you know, more per hour, which would allow them to be more competitive and continue their career as providers. I know that in my children's uh, daycare center, for example, we've had providers or lost providers just because they're able to make like a couple more dollars as a receptionist, for example. Um, so I think that ensuring that childcare providers are making a little bit more of a living wage um, will go a long way um, to ensure that we have um, great providers in King County. But I'm happy to get you the exact details on where they landed. That's great. That's, I was wondering, because uh, I know that that's a huge issue um, with our child care providers as is. And um, given that uh, our current uh, economic crisis, uh, that that would, is a, an important consideration considering uh, we have lost a ton of child care providers. So thank you so much for that. Any other questions um, for Sarah? Go ahead, Sherry. Okay. Um, you said that it, the cost of the levy was a dollar per week, or um, is that the old levy or is that the new levy? This is a renewal that replaced- It's a renewal. And because of the additional investments in out of school time and transitions, to adulthood as well as the child care subsidy program and the pilot. Um, there is an additional increase of 14 cent tax um, to uh, $1,000 of assessed value of your property taxes to 19 cents. Um, so it would be from 14 to 19 cents. There's a little bit of an increase. Great, thank you so much. Any other questions? All right, seeing none, would you like to do any sort of wrap up? Um, no, just to say briefly that, uh, you know, as chair of the King County Women's Advisory Board and then on the Children and Families Strategies Task Force, um, I just saw what a really desperate and dire need there is for additional investments in not just access and affordability on, ch on the childcare front, but also to support, support providers. Um, as Nicole's question gets to, uh, who are really struggling, and we've had so many King County childcare providers that have had to shutter, um, you know, their centers and are just getting back on their feet. So I think uh, looking at a pilot to ensure that providers are making more of a living wage is so critically important, particularly on the local level. Um, and that's one reason why I'm really excited about this levy renewal. And I hope you uh, support it as the Thundering 36 and just tell all of your friends and neighbors because it's so critically important um, to support our kids early on. Great, thank you so much, Sarah.